<laughs> Dude, episode two. You disrespected Belly Bomb Billy. You will not get away with this. You will not. I be family, truly flow. Flow ready, set, go. Wavy like show. Drop a new bitch and collect in a dough. Keep it a hundred, you already know. We never frontin' but stuntin' for show. From JD to BJ, we keepin' y'all hook like replay. Let's see Ray, deliver the goods, no delay. Y'all too busy cuffin', we don't know. We're back. <laughs> Dude, episode two. Episode two. We had so much fun doing so this so that we literally started recording again. Um, we're gonna make one thing clear though. This is the same day, so don't try to at me and say I'm wearing the same clothes, cause uh, it was April sixth. It's April sixth. It's April fourteenth, dude. Oh, man. Nope. <laughs> no, it's, it's On, the same day. No, it's the same day. I just took off my jacket cause it got really hot, and I don't know why. Jay and what's your excuse? Uh, I switched it to make the continuity appear more favorable. In other words, they try to play me. Yeah. Okay. You know how we start this just off? Want, just wanted to get, just wanted to get you know that out of the way. Off? We're here. All right. <clears throat> okay. First and foremost, let's talk about something that maybe has been swept under the, under the rug a little bit. That's the Houston Astros. Oh, yeah. That is the Houston Astros. The Houston Astros. You will not. You will not. Get away with this. You will not. Oh, man. Oh, baby. And those Red Sox. It? And those Red Sox, dude. They got away with... I'm not going to say that. So, but. since you bring up Red Sox, do oh, you man. think... Okay, well, now, uh, during this time, the Red Sox are done being investigated. Do you think Mookie Betts should feel ashamed of himself? If he did cheat. Okay. What do you know right now... As a baseball fan, how did they cheat? As what I know, it's been a while since I read up on it. Because mm-hmm. obviously this everything has been cancelled. But they used JD, correct me if I'm wrong, you probably know more than wrong. me. Wrong. <laughs> probably know more than me. But I think didn't they use something to uh, to relay signs from the runner on second? It was the red technology. Box. They used yeah. technology they, they wasn't like to steal signs. It was something along the. It wasn't like Ast- It wasn't like the Houston Astros esque. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot less, but still. We're talking about the Red Sox. Red Sox. I'm yes. talking about that app. <clears throat> you heard about that app that the out of the Astros. No, that's it? Astros. Oh, you know what? I think it was they. That was Astros. Yeah, but ah, uh, man, you know what? I'm just gonna stop talking before I just dig myself in a hole because I don't know anymore. I thought. Okay, so. In my opinion, the Yankees cheated too because they used Apple Watches, no? Yankees? I thought that was Red Sox. No, that was the Yankees. Oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead. I, I think, yeah. They started using that, but nobody was taking it seriously until the Astros did. Well, there were a few teams that were using some sort of new technology, but the MLB knew and the MLB told those teams, knock it off. Almost all those teams knocked it off. Let me ask you this. Who's been in the playoffs consistently the past three years? Dodgers. Dodgers. And? Astros. And? Red Sox. Red Sox. And Yankees. Thank you. Yeah. So you think Dodgers are cheating? I don't think the Dodgers are cheating, no. And that's why <laughs> I'm being... Pause. No, pause. <laughs> Dodgers, please. 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 No. From, with all that I know and love, Dodgers, I believe that you did not cheat. But it better not come out. It better not. Because the stuff I've said to the Astros, it better not come out. Because. By the way, one thing I learned about JD, every person that's been caught using steroids, he hates. Like, that's insane to me. I, me I'm, a, I'm a Barry Bonds fan, but you hate him. Okay, I used to be like that, but... Ever since the Astros did this, I'm like, you know what? Steroids, it's not that bad anymore. No. Really? Like, because you still have, you still have to hit the ball. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you still have to know what's like, you don't yeah. know you don't know what's coming. You still have to hit it. It just I feel like steroids just helps you in the weight room. Ste- you know what I'm yeah, steroids I would agree are le- It's like less of a like crime. I know it's not a crime, but it's less of a crime than the like sign stealing. It's like yeah. stealing 
a pack of gum from a store compared to murder. Asheville's committed murder. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Steroids is like stealing a pack of gum. Like, oh, you're gonna, you're gonna get smacked for it, but. So I was just looking up some Red Sox like investigation stuff. Nothing. So the Red Sox completed their investigation. Did I say Red Sox? You did say Red Sox. I meant MLB completed their investigation. Shame on you. On the Sox. Shame on you, yeah. MLB. And they haven't made a decision yet, but oh. according to a Red Sox lawyer, the team disagrees with what the MLB found. We don't know what they found, but someone talked to the Red Sox lawyer, and the Red Sox lawyer made it apparent that the team disagrees with what the MLB found. Take that what you would like to take that as. Let me sock it in the mouth right now. Let me sock it in the mouth right now. Why in the world, if the Red Sox disagreed like how they're saying, and they felt that they didn't do anything wrong, why a week later, a couple days later, they fire their manager and their general manager? The Red Sox fired the GM too? Yes, without the MLB doing anything about it, they fired both of them. Which I think is smart by the Red Sox, but it's also like... You clearly did something yeah. wrong. Because yeah. you, you have to fire Cora. I mean, he was on the Astros and the Red Sox. Yeah, there's... Yeah. But it, you won a straight-up championship with him. That's what I'm saying. Like... Beltran was a casualty of this, too. Let's dude, not and like, I remember me and BJ were just going at it. Like, we were we were diving so deep into it. And then, like, you heard about the burner accounts on Twitter. Yeah. Like, with Kyle Beltran, Beltran's niece coming into it. But now we're th- now they thought it was like a te- like a teammate that was on the team and saying like like acting like it was his niece, and then also dude I saw a post like a couple weeks ago, Justin Verlander made a burner account. I was just say that. Justin Verlander he was arguing with fans. I'm like dude, saying like oh Justin Verlander's a good guy. We gotta lay off of him. He's number one. Do pitchers still get the slap on the wrist for it? Uh, some pitcher I th- I believe some pitchers said that they said like. We didn't know some of this stuff was going on. I kind of believe it. Verlander, I have a problem with. Granky, he's always been quiet. Yeah. So him being quiet now, I don't really care about. The Verlander, Cause why is he quiet now? Yeah, because that's who complains about it. Oh, the balls are too tightly wound. Oh, the... the you know, they comp- are bad. Yeah, they, he complains about every little thing. And now, when his team is getting, you know, hammered... Not a word. Mm-hmm. Not just hammered. A wicked hammered. Wicked hammered. Andy Bernard. You Office. Know, great job, by the way. Office. You, you know what really boiled my water? <laughs> Was when that shortstop admitted to cheating. Admitted to cheating. And Carlos he goes... Correa. I'm sorry, go ahead. Admits to cheating. And he wants to stand in front of those cameras. And tell... Our savior. Our to, future. Sh- to our shut present. the F up. For all we know, Carlos, that man is paying your bills right now. You disrespected Belly Bomb Billy. <laughs> belly Bomb Billy. That man. Just like, you cannot take somebody's words... Into and like twist them like that because, dude, at the end of the day, you and multiple other people committed a crime. You cannot try, you, you, yeah, benefit straight championship, millions of dollars. What's what's five million? What's a five million dollar fine gonna do to your organization? You're still in the league. By the way, you know who made that five million dollar fine rule? The yeah, owners, yeah, the yeah. no, uh, yeah, players, or no, no, I'm sorry. You're right. Sorry. The owners said, "Oh, why don't we put in a rule saying we can only find." See, the the owners meaning the Astros owners, right? Or just, the owners. But didn't the Astros like yo? Didn't they? Weren't they the first ones to say it? Like about the five million? Uh, no, they put that rule in a while back. Okay. Oh, it could have been them who first say, said it, but they've had that rule in place for a while. It's basically a bunch of people um, making their own laws that won't hurt them. So, like, a bunch of billionaires got together and said, let's make the MLB only find us a maximum of the change that's in my car right now. 
basically. Which is Bush. <clears throat> Dude, and what makes me so frustrated is like this whole virus going around, and it's like it's giving the Astros a break. I know. It gives them a break. I like the spring training they're getting hit. All the videos of the, the, the fans booing him, like Altuve stepping up to play, George Springer striking, swinging out of his ass, you know what I'm saying? It's like, they get a break from that, and it really makes me mad. And I feel like once this, if, if the season does come back, hopefully, that they won't get ripped. They can either go both, like, different ways. It can either be, like, more, more hyped up, because the fans are just hyped up to be out there, and they might get... Ripped a new one even more, or they might just not even be close to what they were gonna get. We're talking every Instagram, Twitter page mm-hmm. that covers baseball, ESPN, the most they've ever talked about baseball in the off season, and this being the most anticipated season that's coming up ever in the last maybe I'm gonna say ten years, dude. Like the Astros looked out. Crazy, like you can't you can't make this stuff up. You want a conspiracy? Astro started COVID. <laughs> There's okay. <my> conspiracy. <sighs> but you know what, dude? To dig a little deeper in that, you know how many people they let down? Like guys coming like out of fans. LSU, guys coming out of the Dominican Republic. Bregman's. Yeah, LSU, College. LSU yeah. crazy. Like he's like uh, hurt himself. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah, and all these guys. And then, you know what? At the end of the day, like, they didn't care about who they were hurting. Tiger yeah. King. They are the Tiger, the Tiger King Kings. And you know who came as a tiger? <laughs> Fragment. Oh, <laughs> boy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You guys ain't ready for that conversation, though. No. But, no, for real. They didn't care, dude. People lost their jobs. Um... Some I think there was one guy right that tried to sue the Astros. McCarthy, McCarthy oh, is trying to sue the uh, Astros. That was uh, he used to be on the Dodgers though. McCarthy. No, it wasn't McCarthy. Felsing? No. It was Bolzinger. Bolzinger. Yeah, Bolzinger. Yeah, Bolzinger. Bolzinger. Yeah, Bolzinger. Yeah, Bolzinger. Yeah, Bolzinger. Bolzinger. Yeah. What a name. Yeah. What were you gonna say, Jay? You know what? We were at Bolzinger's last game. Listen. I was. Were you? Because he got shelled, and they took him out. And was it against traded. the Astros? I don't know. Mm. Not funny, but. Speaking about that, I. Dude, it's either McCarthy or Bolzinger. They're like everyone's trying to sue them. The Astros are complaining and saying like, "Yo, we need to get a new judge." Like, it's like they're trying to like lengthen this thing up, like the the trial. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I heard something about that. Like, like they they felt like that it was like the jury. No, it was the jury. It was gonna be biased. They wanted a new jury or something like that. Well, they they really they yeah. Going back to hurting other people through this. Like, young guys are going to be brought up by the Astros, like, this year. Oh, like yeah, first round anything. picks, yeah. They're probably going to get, they're probably going to get, uh... Another year of playing in the Collateral, collateral damage of, like, booing and stuff, which sucks, mm. man. I mean, you have nothing to do with it, but you're guilty by association. <clears throat> and you know what's even crazier, dude? MLB wouldn't have done a thing. If uh, John Boy, right? mm-hmm. John Boy wouldn't have said anything. Dude. Yeah, how how yeah. crazy is that? That's a good point. Like literally, social media ruined them. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. it was like yeah, there was an inside person, Mike Fires, um, who if you guys don't know, he was the A's pitcher. Yeah, I think he still is the A's pitcher, right? I think so. Yeah, he's either the A's or the Rangers. Um, yeah, dude, like he said something, but John Boy and social media looked into it dude literally the internet is what is what brought everything out which is crazy like that's just the world we live in is Mike Fires gonna just send that stuff then that then people went back to look at everything yeah and now they're like oh something is here well I heard also that Mike Fires brought it up two years before this happened so like 2017 yeah. and MLB did nothing about it dude because they want their name to just stay classy like bro like we need justice yeah. as Dodger fan. Mm. I don't even want to talk yeah, about like, it. Yeah, like, not even, I mean, Dodger just sports like a baseball yeah. thing. Like, imagine facing them. Okay, now, do they, before I say this, do they cheat only in playoffs or is it season? Season Like, imagine your AL, the AL West teams, dude. Like, imagine that. The Yankees got cheated. With a roster like that, too. Yeah, they don't need a team. Yeah. It's like one of the best rosters. I hate to say it. And you got, like, dude, if you were not a Dodger fan... You don't understand. 
We win the 2017. Hands down. Yeah. We win. Game five, we win. Yeah. Kershaw has a ring. Dude, oh my god. That's why this, that's Kershaw, why this season was going to be so anticipated, bro. Because you hear, you're hearing uh, Kershaw's throwing 90-something now, like in spring training. Ken, yeah. Kenley's throwing better. Like everybody's like looking healthy, and then this happens. You should say Kevin. You saw Kevin Jensen at the gas station. Oh yeah, oh dude, yes. I saw Kenley Jensen at the gas station, and I was like, I don't know, just filling up gas one day, and I saw him there, and I was like, dude, that can't be it. And then just took Snapchat out because I knew nobody was gonna believe me that Kenley was in Wilmington, so took a video of him, showed it to the Colts. It was just crazy. <clears throat> but, um... It's cool. Yeah, dude. It just sucks. The whole situation sucks. Like, not just baseball, but, like, every sport right now. Can you imagine if sports came back, though, right now? How many guys would be out of shape? Yeah. How many <laughs> guys are just, like, really... I, yeah, I think they have to do, like, some sort of short spring training before, like, we actually yeah. get going. Because I know guys are working out on their own and stuff. Yeah, it's so actually, limited. Yeah. Did you see? I saw a video. Did you see Marcus Stroman's bullpen setup right now? Mm-mm. Yeah. So he has a dude the craziest thing I've seen. He has like a, a beach house, and he has like two bushes right on the side, so it kind of like makes like a little alley. He has a mound on the like the start of the dock and a home plate on the end of the dock, and he's just pitching, bro. It's what? the sickest setup. Like, and he's just throwing to some dude like shirtless, ripped dude. Marcus Stroman's. A, has the most swag yeah. as a pitch, like as a pitcher because pitcher. pitchers aren't athletes. I should know. Pitchers aren't athletes. <laughs> well, I'm I'm an athlete, right, guys? Right? Right? Yeah, yeah Strowman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Strowman. Strowman does have swag, but I don't know. Uh, I also saw Chapman oh, throwing my. a bullpen. Chapman's like, arms, bro. Right by a river, a river or something. Dude, Chapman's arms, dude, huge. That's King Kong, bro. He's bigger than most um, hitters. Yeah, I I just don't think that's healthy as a pitcher. Yeah. Cause like you need your arm to like you can't really like you probably can because he's like not naturally a normal human being. Yeah. But like when I used to do like physical therapy, like I was talking to the dude, he's like, yeah, that's why you don't see much pitchers like all super bulky because you can't bend your arm like that, and you're just gonna rip like muscles. You need their arm lengthy and loose. Baseball uniforms make. Uh, Players look small. Yeah. Cause dude, when Chapman's up there, he kind of looks like just mm-hmm. a regular six four guy. But skinny. yeah, skinny. But he just <clears throat> he's an animal. Let me ask you. Let me ask you guys this: If you hit a walk off home run to send your team to the World Series, are yes, you letting your yes. are you letting your team rip off your shirt? All right, we could we could go into that. Do you believe that tattoo was there, dude? Like, honestly, that's the best thing you're going to come up with? I need receipts, homie. I would like to see some receipts. Yeah. I would or, like to see it. Or maybe a tattoo artist. But see, a tattoo artist just saying, yeah, I did it. That could be any Joe Blow. I don't know, man. I would... Dude, the you guy... Know what I would like to see? I would like to see Altuve not go in the dugout. Because then we would know for sure. Yeah. Be 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 be. But because he went into the dugout, mysteriously, now we can't know. Because, dude, there's pictures. He is wearing an undershirt until the seventh inning of that game. Yeah. And right before I was at bat, he doesn't have an undershirt on. And, like... But it's just hot. People are saying, like, I've never... Like, players, ex-players are saying, I've never seen that ever. Like, I've seen people shave their mustache and say, people shave their beards, like, after at bat. Not, like, undershirts, you know what I'm saying? It's just, like... Here's another thing for you. Jose Altuve, MVP winner, what, uh, player, freaking, I don't know, the best second baseman out there in what year, 2016? Uh, 2017. 2017, all right. You're telling me the man, the face, pretty much the face of the franchise of the Houston Astros, making millions, right, doing what he needs to do to provide for anybody that he loves, is gonna go to a tattoo shop where this guy's gonna mess up a tattoo, dude. There's no Mid-season. way. Mid season, dude. There's just no way. This guy and like, 
you really think we're gonna believe you guys after what you guys did? Of course, you guys are trying to save your butts. Like, anything that you tell us right now is worthless. Yeah, and that's the thing too. We whatever they say, like, oh, we weren't cheating during this game or during this. Well, we can't believe you because you cheated the other games. Yeah. So. And the dude, the owner. That press conference they held before spring training to apologize. When he says, you know, I believe it doesn't impact the game. Number one, he doesn't. he's probably never played a single inning of baseball in his life. Mm-hmm. To know that if you think that knowing a, a pitch that's coming is not going to impact a game, get out of here. Number two, and then he's like, no, I didn't say it didn't impact the game. The reporter who asked that question was saying, like, then why are you apologizing if it doesn't impact the game? He's a raise. Yeah. I want to meet her. I want her to sign my right nipple. I Yo, need that. You know, um, that the Yankees. Uh, what I don't even know what his name is, but dude, he's been. He was um, hitting the Astros like no, like no other dude. The Yankee announcers. Yeah. Oh, the Yes guys. Yes yeah. Network was on. Shut up, Yes Network. Yes Network. I I'm not a huge Yankee fan. I might be just because you guys. Yankees and Red. Why did I just say Red Sox? Yankees fans and all other fans, we need to unite against the evil force hey. that is Red right. Sox and Astros. That's it. Yeah. That's just it. Also, um, shout out RJ, man. All those talks RJ. in the playoffs by the Dodgers. Just big shout out to you. Shout out to RJ. Big fan. I want to, okay. I feel like we should talk about, I want to talk Dodgers. Yeah. I want I want to talk um, what we need to um, what we need to do in order to just win consistently, win without any doubts. Um, you want listen. You guys know me very well. You guys know who my guy is. Kershaw is going. Anyone who knows me knows this. Kershaw is going to have a Cy Young season. When whenever baseball season comes back, he is going to have a Cy Young year. You heard it here. Okay, I'm telling you right now. If he's arguing in spring training, he's I know. he is a man of he is a man of God. Who's the coach yelling at him during spring training, anyways? Yeah. But good for Kershaw, dude. Mm-hmm. To... I mean, dude, that breaks my heart because he, out of all people, listen, he is not a great pitcher in the playoffs. He was he was dealing 2017. I give him a lot yeah. more credit now, though. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You, you got it. Dodger haters out there, Kershaw haters, you got to admit, the last two years playoffs, number one, Kershaw has one eighted his playoff like performances. Last year was kind of rough. Also, yeah, last year, while also facing known cheaters, so let that be known during playoffs. Now, I know early in his career, shaky. I'll admit that he was shaky. But come on now. The guy is back in the playoffs. Is Belly going to have another year? Like he did. I hope he does. I think with Mookie Betts... Now I'm going I'm to touch on that. But I think with Mookie Betts in the lineup, I feel like Belly has a little bit of comfort, you know, to like... Yeah. Just try, try to do his best. Keep bringing in the runs that he's been doing. Not as much weight on his shoulders. And, I mean, you got... Arguably the one of the best outfields in the league right now. In the past. So I mean, like he's gonna Mookie Betts is gonna help Billy a lot as a as a player to like mm-hmm. make him feel comfortable, just yeah. like playing every day. That's one good thing. Yeah. But if this whole thing lets Mookie Betts get away with a free season and us having to pay him. Dude, I'm gonna be so pissed. Stupidest role. I'm gonna be so pissed. Mookie Betts better play in a Dodger uniform for a whole season before we see him leave. I don't see any benefit to like this rule of having everyone count as a year. For real. I, I I know like people are losing money right now with everything, but come on, like. Maybe I just don't know enough to, like, know why they're not. But why is that even a thing? They're not playing games. They shouldn't be counted. Yeah, if you guys don't know, there's the rule is if you're a free agent, free, 
free gent. Gen- free gent. If you're a free gent. If you're a free agent and you get signed to a team for one year, let's just say the season does not, you know, happen, it would still count as a year of playing. So we signed Mookie Betts. We picked him up as a free agent for one year. Oh, we didn't pick him up. We traded for him. And if for yeah, one year. Next year, he will be off the team and, and considered a free agent, even though we did not play one single inning, which is stupid to me. And we traded... The world yeah, life. JD loves Alex Verdugo. I love, he's a good I player, too, yeah. but man, he's not. No, he, he's he not. Bets. He's not. He's not a belly. Alex Verdugo, if you're watching this, thank you for everything that you've done. Yeah, absolutely, short, absolutely. I know in Boston they're not going to appreciate your heritage and culture like we would. I mean, that's all we need to know. You brought electricity. You brought passion. You brought energy. You brought great hitting. You brought just overall outstanding sportsmanship to the game. And I know I will always remember the time that you spent here. And thank you. Just thank you. Alex Verdugo. Yeah. Hey, uh, to Alex Verdugo and um, all the rest of the people watching, if you guys made it this far, make sure you comment Freegent uh, down at the bottom. <laughs> down at the bottom. If you made it this far, we want you to say Freegent. Uh, thank you. Oh, okay. Here's a to wrap it up. This I just saw this on here. Um, well, this is a Red Sox, but I'll I'll substitute it for the Astros. What do you think their punishment should have been, or what do you think the Red Sox? Red Sox or Astros? Be? Both. Astros. We'll start Astros. You want to go? You want to start? Go ahead, go ahead. You Take go away the title. Okay. Suspend every single one of those people on that team for a year, at least a year. Okay. And you know what I say? We get at least, dude, have a draft from your team. Just send that team away. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see any H on a jersey. I don't want to see a team there. <laughs> Stephen A. Smith. I don't know. <laughs> now the Red Sox. I I don't know enough to say. I think the Red Sox did a good job of firing Cora. I don't think Cora should ever be on a baseball field ever again. Even minors like they did to what's his Hinch. name Hinch. Hinch. Um. But yeah, I don't know enough for the Red Sox to have a more strong argument. Uh, but yeah, I don't. I don't want to see H on a team. I don't see Houston. I don't, I don't even like the Rockets anymore. I I don't care about James Harden. I don't care about Russell Westbrook. I don't care about. No, dude. Honestly, I don't care about JJ Watt anymore. No, I love. I used to love JJ <laughs> Watt. I don't care. I don't care about any any Houston team. I don't yeah. care. There's a small piece of me that actually feels that way. Like I look at Houston teams. No, and absolutely, like, absolutely. Like, how can you like? yourself Houston. If my future wife lives in Houston, divorce. <laughs> so you're, you'll know, knowing, knowing no, I, I'm going to fall in love with her. Like, we're going to talk with her. Here's, we're going to talk over the phone, right? And then I'm not going to ask her where she's from because we're just so in love. And she, <laughs> really, I'm going to fly there. I'm going to surprise her. I don't know how I'm going to fly there without knowing. I'm going to fly there, and once I find out, I'm going back. Divorce. Um, yeah. Check it. I agree. <laughs> right, thanks, guys. For, <laughs> thanks, guys, for watching. Appreciate it. Click the like button. Subscribe. And just... Uh, Give us that feedback. Comment Freegent. <laughs> Freegent. Uh, yeah, we'll see you guys later.